Well, then maybe we can talk you out of this. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. Like, we need more attorneys. Oh, well, no, we won't go there. Um, two interns, Ashley Cummings. Cummings, yeah. Cummings, okay. Mm -hmm. And Haywood Woody. Yep. Horn, right? Yes. Now you both went to Gonzaga. We still go to. Gonzaga. You still go to. Okay. Yeah. How long? How long? How much longer do you have there? One year. One year. <laughs> but who's counting? <laughs> no. Right? Yeah. Right. One year. <laughs> Counting yeah. since day one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you? Let me first ask. Are you enjoying Gonzaga? Is it a good school? Are you learning a lot? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Why oh, yeah. Gonzaga over anything else? Uh, the location. Okay. Um, are you a Spokane kid? No, I'm from South Carolina. Oh, okay. Um, I just moved up here for school, and I fell in love with the Four Seasons. Yes, and yes. It's not 120 degrees in the summer, so. Okay, it's and 102% humidity yeah, and, yeah, and exactly. all that. <laughs> well, good for you. How did you hear about Gonzaga? Um, it was the basketball team first got me interested in, uh, well, f yeah, first got me interested in. They have in a the basketball area. team? Yeah, I know. It's surprising. <laughs> I thought it was their football team that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay, okay. So that really did uh, yeah. pique your interest. It, um, yeah, and I really want to get out of the southeast. And I mean, there's not many further places you can go than yeah. Spokane. <laughs> yeah, and and honestly, my wife and I've, and I have talked a lot recently about you start looking across the country and the weather. And you go t towards California and you talk about the drought down there, and mm -hmm. then you start in Colorado and go east and tornadoes and mm -hmm. thunderstorms and so forth. And we look at each other going, the Pacific Northwest is kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we've really lucked out. Yeah. You know, once in a while. Yeah, we have fires once in a while, and we're getting into that season. So h what about you? Are you a Spokane native? No, or? I grew up in Seattle, but oh, I, I went to undergrad. On the west side. On the west, yeah, the west, the west side, side, exactly. Okay. Okay. Um, but I did my undergrad at WSU in Pullman, so oh, okay. Spokane wasn't too far of a move. When you went to WSU, did you know no. you wanted to go into law? No. Oh, I so, had. so what turned the things to law? Um, I wanted to be a social worker, actually. And oh, okay. so I majored in sociology and then got interested in criminal justice as well. And then okay. kind of thought, well, if I'm an attorney, I can help people a little bit more and actually go into the courtroom and get things done rather than suggest things to be done. And so one thing led to another. <laughs> now, you've just returned from somewhere. Yes. Okay. Where did you go? I just got back from a two-week trip to China. What were you doing in China? Picking out China? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly. Just two weeks ago, okay. picking out some China. No, uh, I actually was invited to go to uh, law school in Chongqing, China. It's, really? Um, inland, so southwest. Okay. Uh, uh, and we spent two weeks there with a group of five uh, GU law students, as well as law students from all around the world. So students from Russia, really? Japan, Australia. Um, and we spent two weeks at the law school doing like cultural immersion classes, learning about their structure of government, and then exploring the city. So um, what was it like to be with so many people speaking other languages oh, and so forth? It, I mean, what was the barrier? What, when you sit down with somebody and sometimes not even looking at yeah. them, you can't tell what language is going to come out of their yeah, mouth, right? it was definitely interesting. Thankfully, a lot of people... That's a safe word, interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, it was great. <laughs> Thankfully, a lot of people did know English, so we were able to kind of piece okay. together conversations. But I did go into situations where I knew absolutely no Chinese and they knew no English, but we were able to use hand gestures and <laughs> thank God for Google Translate because that came ah, in handy a yes, lot. <laughs> yes, yes. So, no, so we were able to work it out. So <laughs> what's the one thing, the one big takeaway from spending two weeks there? Oh, man, that's hard. Um, I try. Once in a while, I come up with a hard question. <laughs> mostly, I think it was just great to see how universal things are across all cultures. Okay. So to be with so many different people from different countries and to be in China was a huge culture shock. But uh, a lot of times we could all relate to just humor or we'd find ourselves like laughing and no one really knows what the joke is, but you just kind of keep laughing and <laughs> everyone's getting along. Um, so I think just how universal things are was, was great to see. Good. Woody, you've been here for how long now? Two years? Uh, two years. Two years? Yes. Okay. So what's your takeaway now that you live here? I am assuming maybe that you're going to want to stay in this area. Oh, I'm that happens a lot yes. with Gonzaga law students, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I really want to stay here. Um, I, like I said, the uh, weather is perfect. Like, great. I love being able to snowboard in the winter, ah, like okay. golf all the rest of the year. Or, right. 
Um, and it's it, I don't like the big city, uh, like huge cities like Seattle. Okay. But this is large. But you can get me. to one if exactly. you want to. I have the opportunity of doing pretty much everything. Yeah. So just having that is great. Okay. So now tell me what it's like interning at a law firm. In this case, McNeese Wheeler. We know one of the names. Ryan McNeese is an okay guy. <laughs> Becky is much nicer <laughs> out there. Um, I'm saying that only because they'll be watching this, and I got to give Ryan a bad time. Um, so what? What's it like working for those two? Oh, it's great. Um, what have you learned? <laughs> a, a ton. Yeah. Um, learned a lot about wills. I mean, going to class, you learn the stuff, but you never actually get to use Hands it. On. Mm -hmm. You're talking theory. Yeah. In and, school, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you don't really learn that stuff yeah. and how it's actually used in real life situations. Right. And just being able to actually take what you learn from school and put it into real practice is unbelievable. Okay. And I think that's really so true in so many industries and jobs. You know, we, we learn the theory and so forth, but to get out there and actually practice it and see you write a will as a draft and then you see the effect or the lack of effect mm -hmm. that you haven't covered something or you've missed something or you've really allowed yourself to change the lives of these people and their and the folks that right. will follow them and so forth. So when you graduate yes. in a year, yes. okay, where are you going to live? Well, um, right now I'm thinking probably of staying in Spokane. Actually. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, it's a great city. You're not going back to the... Do you have family? I do. My whole, all my family lives on the west side, okay. but uh, there's a lot of traffic and a lot of rain over there. Yes, so. yes. <laughs> have, have you explained, um, Ashley, as, as you talk with family and friends over mm -hmm. there, that the east side is not Bellevue, it's Spokane. Yeah. Do they understand that? Yeah. Well, <laughs> when you are in Seattle, you do have to clarify. Yeah. yeah. That I mean. Exactly. East of the There's like a story I've told many time, <laughs> times being at a meeting over there, and they kept talking about the east side. And I said, you know, from Spokane, I said, you mean Bellevue, don't you? And they all said, yeah, Bellevue. <laughs> And then they realized I was from Spokane. <laughs> so my, the, the other person and I from Spokane, I looked at her. I said, Kathy, I guess we're not needed. We can get up. And we literally <laughs> started to get up and, and leave, and, which, of course, we weren't going to do. But then they realized their speak over mm -hmm. there of the east side is Bellevue and Issaquah yep. and all of that. So right. it was a rude awakening <laughs> for some of them. But uh, so, um, so in a year, you'll be looking for a full-time attorney job yes. probably here in Spokane yes. mm -hmm. and w um, what area do you want to practice in? Um, I like uh, personal injury workers compensation some okay. products liability maybe okay um, I really do not like criminal law okay <laughs> I really okay. do not like it and yeah. I really don't like yeah. uh, family law there's so many negatives right exactly I mean, yeah so and what about you see I'm I've d I agree I'm not a fan of criminal law, but I am interested in family law. Well, because of your social uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, degree and, and interest in all that, that yeah. makes, that makes uh, yeah. sense. Great. Well, congratulations on, uh, on what you're doing in Gonzaga. I was almost going to congratulate you on picking McNeese Wheeler, but we won't go there. No. <laughs> no, they're they great. are, they're they awesome. are good they're people. Awesome. They're our yeah. attorney for, for SpokaneTalksOnline.com and, and so forth. Uh, I love to tease them, but what I love about them is they're just really super people. All the yes, folks they that are. they send down here um, uh, each week are great people. And so while I tease them, they are nice. <laughs> so A so, great environment to be an intern. Yeah, it yeah. <laughs> it, and it's nice. And actually, in so many ways, because I'm so much older than you, I will tell you that you won't go through life always finding the positive environment that you mm -hmm. have right now. Not everybody thinks ahead like they do and is involved in social media and in the community and so forth. So you really are interning at a great place. Yeah. So thank you very much for coming thank in. You. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to talk with uh, Don Morgan, and we'll be back after this. you got to eat. you got to watch. 